The following is transcribed directly from documents found inside an abandoned German test lab by American soldiers during the aftermath of World War II. The following is roughly translated into English. Viewer discretion advised. Testing begins tomorrow. Uh, the team doesn't know what to expect. Our mission is to take new research and turn it into a weapon for the war front. It has recently been discovered that the brain releases a previously unknown chemical when feeling fear. For obvious reasons, this test could be extremely dangerous. Two test subjects has been, well, selected, and from what we were told, they were sentenced to death, but were going to instead be used as subjects in this experiment. The subjects are given a table with two chairs, a cot with a mattress, a stocked bookcase, a notebook and pen, and a bathroom area consisting of a toilet and a sink, as well as a mirror. Food and water will be given, though in small, sealable openings. I have nothing to report at this time. Test subjects A and B are given a small chemical dose mixed in with their water. Test subject A consumes the water and shows no visible changes in mood or behavior, while test subject B refused to drink his water outright. He's been forcibly given the same dosage, by direct injection. He gave some small resistance, but <laughs> was easily controlled and injected shortly afterwards. He seemed nervous, almost paranoid, and jumped whenever he heard sudden noises. Subjects have been told to try and remain active, or sleep, just not idle. It took some time, but we have developed a gas-based version of the chemical. If shown, uh, the effects are on the subjects could become a very valuable weapon. Dosage has been increased slightly, neither of the subjects are aware that the chemical is even being let into the room. After a few minutes, Subject A stopped reading and began looking around the room cautiously. After an estimated hour, he began to read again. Subject B immediately responded. He opened a notebook for the first shot time and started writing. And here is the quote here wrote right here, which states, What is going on? Stop, stop it, stop it, st stop whispering to me. I, I don't want to hear you. Onto a piece of paper. He then ripped it out of a notebook and slipped it under the door. No reply was given. We're going to observe the effects of this long term. Low amounts of gas on subject A, and we're going to observe the effects of short, high amounts of periods of gas on subject B. The results are shocking, to say the least. Subject A has progressively become more unstable. He stopped reading, he, he wouldn't eat, and avoided the mirror at all costs. He suddenly became very aggressive, threw heavy books at the mirror with surprising force. Um. Shattering it, well, fairly easily. Subject B's reaction was... more curious. He began staring at the second chair, however, he was not looking at the chair. He was, he was looking at it as if he was making eye contact with someone sitting within the chair. Something seems amiss, but we are definitely getting results. The Fuhrer will most definitely be pleased. The following is a vocal recording. The voice sounds distressed. We do not want this! Oh, God, fuck! What do we do to deserve God's vengeance such as this? Sujik B has escaped from his cell. The chair he was staring at was thrown across the room straight into the viewing glass, instantly shattering it. It was five inches of thick reinforced. He didn't even touch the chair! He's out in the hole by an impact. Help me! He's ripping. Ah! The vents are leaking gas in the rest of the facility. The power's offline. I, I can't see a damn thing. Kill off all my. God. Oh lord! No! 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 One final note was found, and it seems to be hastily written, and it's barely legible. There are a few translations, but the general consensus is. They are dead. Every last one of them. I hear them in the walls. I hear them whispering, yes. Yes, please come take me away. I want more. No, I don't want. I want more of. 
and it seems to end there. There's a few other letters marked on here, but it seems to be soaked blood red. In April 23rd, 1994, Allied soldiers found the abandoned German laboratory with only its door sealed shut. Using explosive charges, they were forcibly forced to enter the laboratory. Wondering what was so important the Germans had to lock it away, they found 13 bodies, 12 of which had matching lab coats on, mangled to pieces. And, in one case, strain half, um, the 13th body had a nondescript brown clothing uh, and no head. Now, a larger scale investigation was launched later by the Germans to determine what happened, <laughs> but this was cancelled after many German soldiers absolutely refused to return to the laboratory, even if threatened with their lives. This day, no one actually knows exactly what happened to uh, the referred subject as Subject B, however, it is of popular consensus that he is dead.